need to look at the tangent wave. Now, if we think about the tangent in terms of a triangle, a right angle triangle that we've been talking about, the sine wave gave us the opposite in relation to this angle theta that's going around. The cosine gives us the adjacent in terms of this angle that's going around. The tangent, we know, is the opposite over the adjacent. The ratio of opposite to adjacent. So the tangent of theta is the ratio of the opposite to the adjacent side, where this angle here is theta. So at any point in time, as time goes by, again, we get to this point here, I can complete my right angle triangle at this point, and say the ratio of this side, the opposite side, to the adjacent side is going to give me the tangent. So at 45 degrees, we've talked about this already, if this theta is 45 degrees, what's the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side? I'll divide the opposite by the adjacent. The same, so if I divide one by the other, I'll get one. One. Two divided by two, one. Three divided by three, one. So whatever this side is, divide it by itself and to one. So I know that one angle, 45 degrees, or what's that in radian? 45 degrees is I over 4. I've got a tangent of 1. So I can put that point on the curve. Now, well, we'll talk about that in a second. There's a good reason why that is. So think about this thing rotating. Comes around here. When I'm down here, look, I'm dividing, in order to get this ratio, I'm dividing the opposite side, so that's how far it's gone along the y-axis, by how far it's gone along the x-axis. So a small number divided by a big number will give us a small number. At zero, it's gone no distance up the y-axis. Zero divided by x, or one in this case, because this is one. Zero divided by one? Zero. So it starts at zero here, and then it gets bigger and bigger as it comes up here. If you look at this point here, I'm dividing the opposite, which is here somewhere, by the adjacent, which is this distance here. You can see that's now going to be an answer that's bigger than one. So you can have the tangent bigger than one. As, as soon as the opposite side, the y-axis in other words, becomes bigger than the x-axis at this point, say, then the answer is bigger than 1. So we can have tangents bigger than 1, even though this, rad this radius vector is just 1. What's the tangent of 89 degrees? Tangent of 89 degrees, about 57 odd. So if we think about our scale here, 57 on this scale is way up here somewhere. So in other words, this curve is starting here and then it's going up. And it gets up faster and faster and faster. What is the tangent of 90 degrees? Tangent of 90 or pi over 2 gives us a mass error. And the reason for that is, I, if we look at this point here, I'm dividing y, which now is 1, the distance along the y-axis is 1, by 0, which along the x-axis. Anything divided by 0, I can get as many zeros as I like out of 1, so the answer is infinite. So it approaches infinity at 90 degrees. And we put on what's called an asymptote, which is a dotted line through pi over 2, that the curve approaches but never crosses. So you have this, this curve approaching this asymptote but never crossing it. Now we imagine we've come beyond 90 degrees to here. 
So again, this x distance is going to be really small, so we've got a big number, but the but whatever it is, even though it's really small, it's negative. So suddenly we've got a really um, big negative number. So effectively this curve comes back from a very large negative number, i.e. negative infinity, if you like, and then comes up and curves. And approaches zero at pi. And then curves on up again to infinity. So again, we've got another asymptote here at 3 pi over 2. And then repeat and get to that point there. Go back to 0 at 3 pi. So you get a curve that looks a bit like this. So if we look at this curve, if we look at this curve, we can see the symmetry. Again, the calculator tells me angles, the tangents of angles between 0 and 90 degrees. It talks about this region here. So if I find the tangent of 45 degrees and that's 1, that's also the same as the tangent of this angle, which is going to be pi plus pi over 4, which is 5 pi over 4, which will be the same as this angle if I imagine this curve carrying on up. So there's again an infinite number of angles that have a tangent of 1 coming through here. And it all depends on which angle, as it rotates, that we're after, and so on. Okay. Same for this. What would this point here, what would this point be? It gives us an angle of minus 1. pi over 4, that's pi over 2, what's this? No? It's going in quarters, three quarter, yeah, yeah. three quarters, yeah, three quarters of pi at that point would be at minus 1. So if you found what the tangent of three quarters of pi was, you'd get minus 1 and so on. So again, you, you're using the calculator for this region here. And knowledge of the tangent function and how it behaves, we can work out what the tangent of any angle is. Okay?